Welcome to the IBM InfoSphere Optum Test Data Management Solution video series about masking data using a column map procedure. This video is the second in a series about masking sensitive data to privatize that data. The objective of this video is to show how to use parameters within a script to mask data and how to print messages on the Optum Output Processing Report about the masking process. As the video illustrates, specifying parameters within a script offers you more flexibility in deciding what records are masked and how your data is masked. The video also shows how to view before and after images of the data you've masked to ensure that the data was masked as requested. This video shows how to use a script to mask the amount displayed in a specific column by increasing that amount by a specific value based on a user supplied parameter. The video also shows how to apply this masking technique to only certain records based on another user supplied parameter. It also shows how to modify the output process report to include information about the masking process. In this video we show how to mask the amount in the year to date sales column in the sample Optum customers table. To do this, we specify two parameters in the script applied to the year-to-date sales column. The first parameter identifies the customers for which we want to mask data. For the purpose of this video, we mask the year-to-date sales of all customers located in the state of Florida. The second parameter identifies the amount by which we want to increase each customer's year-to-date sales. For the purpose of this video, we increase each customer's year-to-date sales by $2. This ma masking technique can be applied to any numeric based column. For example, you might want to use this masking technique to increase or decrease employee salaries by a stipulated amount based on some factor such as the employee's geographic location. Go to the repository view and expand Optum repository. Then expand the objects folder in which your column map is located. Next, expand the column maps folder to display a list of available column maps. Right click the name of the column map you want to use and select open to display the column map in the column map editor. In this example, the column map is named mass year to date sales. In the column map editor, Scroll to the column you want to mask and select the column by clicking the name in the target column. Then click Add Procedure to open the script editor. In the example we selected Year to Date Sales in the target column and then clicked Add Procedure. When the column map procedure editor opens, a sample column map procedure is displayed. You can use this sample to assist you in developing your own script. If you've already created a script and stored it in a text file, open that file and copy the script and then paste it in the column map editor. You can also manually create a script by typing the appropriate information in the column map editor. The script shown in this example has been placed on the year-to-date sales column to retrieve and transform the number in that column. As we scroll down in the script, Notice the default values specified for the state to mask and val to add parameters. The state to mask parameter is set to PA for Pennsylvania and the value to add parameter is set to 0.5 or 50 cents. By default, this script will add 50 cents to the year to date sales of all customers located in the state of Pennsylvania. In subsequent steps, however, we will specify two parameters to override these two entries. As we scroll down to the end of the script, look at the two lines that begin with the code message equal and end the with the code print message. These lines are used to print information on the output process report about the number of rows that match the masking criteria specified in the script. We have now scrolled down to the procedure area of the column map editor. This is the area in which you can specify parameters to override the default values for the state to mask and val to add parameters. In this example, we have typed two parameters, FL to change the state to mask parameter to Florida and 
two dollars to change the val to add parameters to two dollars. Now the script will add two dollars to the year to date sales of Florida customers. Instead of adding 50 cents to the year to date sales of Pennsylvania customers. Please note that although two dollars is a numeric value, you must enclose it in single quotes like the state parameter. To save both the column map and the script, click File, Save All. Then close the script editor and the column map. Now we'll execute the insert service that will invoke the script that we have added to the column map. First, expand the services folder. Then right click the appropriate insert service and select Run Service. When the Optum Manager opens, click Run on the Run Service pop-up to execute the insert service. Click the Service Monitoring tab on the Optum Manager to view the status of the request, as shown here. Notice that the status for the service is ended and the number of rows that match the Florida criteria is shown in the Output section. After you've finished viewing the Output report, close Optum Manager. After running the insert service, we ran an Optum Compare definition to compare the before and after images of the data that was masked. The details of the comparison are shown here. Notice that all the state values are for Florida, as we have requested in the first input parameter. Also notice that the year-to-date sales for all Florida-based customers has been increased by $2 in the mass data, as we requested in the second input parameter. For example, the year-to-date sales for the first customer has been increased from $5,231 in the original extract file to $5,233 in the mass database. So, the year-to-date sales for all Florida-based customers were successfully masked by the script based on the parameters we specified. Thank you for watching this video about using parameters in a script to mask sensitive data. To view the sample script supplied with the Optum solution, go to the following folder on the drive on which the Optum Test Data Management solution is installed. Slash IBM slash InfoSphere slash Optum slash Designer sample data.